Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. These are going to be your love messages. If you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below. You can also follow me on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. All right, you guys, let's see. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, all and only Virgo channel here. All right, Virgos, let's see what the energies are coming forward for you. This is a love reading, so please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate, okay? Oh boy, Virgo, somebody's coming in with a bona fide solid offer for you. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we've got the moon here. Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, wow, and the Ace of Swords. There's some truth coming out here. Um, let's see, Virgo. Okay, somebody's coming in to really put in some effort. You could be working with this person, Virgo. Um, you could be getting a job offer or... This is just somebody who's coming in. Um, Eight of Pentacles energy, like it just feels like someone who's trying to master something here with you, but there's an offer coming in, okay? Let me see here. Now it's coming in slow. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow, but we do have the Three of Pentacles. This is marriage with the King of Cups, okay? Virgo, I don't know why a King of Cups shows up in your readings all the time. And that's what I feel like this could be for some of you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it could very well just be someone who is embodying the water element, which basically means this is someone who's very supportive, tolerant, and empathy. But I feel like somebody is coming in here for you. Um, this person is coming through as being very reliable patient a hard worker the knight of pentacles takes his time okay but with the three um this person is like coming in here basically showing up as someone who wants to be a part of working on something together with you okay <clears throat> commitment marriage what have you all right. Now, for some, it could be an air energy, but I really feel mostly this is you. Virgo, you're sitting here with this queen of swords and you are like self-sufficient. You don't feel like you need anyone. You're being truthful and honest with this person. Um, you're not taking any kind of um, secrets. You're not dealing with deception or secrets with the moon card, which usually represents like any unforeseen problems you're ready to just slash away um and i feel like you're trusting your intuition the moon card can be about deception um i don't really feel like you're going to reveal too much to this person <coughs> excuse me but there are some things that you will notice in this connection with this person when they come in or come around that um, there are some things that are hidden. Let's get a clarifying card here. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Well, Virgo, this person, I do feel like they're going to, both of you kind of put each other on a pedestal. You, you really do see each other or you will see each other as like in awe of one another. Okay, and that's that feels mostly like a secret. That's something that's just kind of been not truly revealed. And I feel like this person is going to reveal this to you that, or by some by way of some type of communication, um, there's a lot of coming forward here towards you. Even with the Knight of Cups, Virgo, you might be getting some type of proposal. Could be marriage. Um, somebody coming in as Prince Charming being very romantic okay um the thing with the knight of pentacles you know i feel like it's true though okay i feel like it's it's true what's coming in but let's get a clarifying card for the knight of cups just to see yeah this person is like really in this place 
either for some of you this could be someone that you know that you're sorry you're currently dealing with or this is somebody new um you're really just gonna have to you know your situation but um i feel like there's this person is delaying they're taking their time because they're contemplating and thinking about coming in or uh, making some kind of like proposal or offer to you I just want to clarify the Queen of Swords because you have your guard up with this uh, sitting here as you as the Queen of Swords or there's just a guarded energy between you and this person. Okay, yeah, look at you. You've got the Six of Swords. You're protecting yourself. I mean, you're. some of you are, you might even be trying to just you're trying to protect yourself from being in any kind of chaotic situation in your life okay some of you might be trying to move away from relationships or another relationship of some sort or just try to like start all over make some kind of transition in your life i feel mostly that comes from the fact that you've been hurt in your past some of you have just given up on love uh, well I feel like you you kind of still have your hope about love, but you really don't believe that you're going to meet someone who's going to just bring you joy and happiness or truth. I want to get another card. You're healing. Look, three of swords in reverse. You're healing from some kind of heartbreak, maybe a third party thing. Your your mo your mindset here is like I'm getting out of this. I need to heal. I'm moving myself away from any kind of problems or pain or heartbreaking situations but you do have somebody coming in here and you may work with them or have some kind of financial attachment to this person if it's not that uh, some of you might be in school with this person. It could be a teacher. But if it's not that, there's an energy here of this person. They withhold their emotions. Yet they're still very supportive. This person is in this position. I feel like trying to... It's, it's like an apprentice. This person's trying to learn something. They may be sitting in a position of learning how to make money or maybe going back to school or going to attain another degree or starting some kind of business, um, craftsmanship. But as far as love goes, I feel like this person is kind of like trying to figure out that's the marriage card. This person is really in this place of thinking about not just marriage but commitment or coming in with some kind of an offer for you let's take a look at this knight and eight of pentacles because that's like a true op it's the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles offering something tangible to you something that they've been working on that they've been creating or building or trying to do with their lives okay we have temperance here coming into balance this is all about divine timing all about divine. I feel, Virgo, that you're kind of like on your way out the door. And this person shows up. Let's look at the Ten of Wands here because it feels to me like you and this you and this person are like the struggle is over, but for different reasons. Karma. Yep. Karma is fulfilling a destiny here. Um, your person is going through some kind of karmic situation and it's overwhelming them. It's too much for them to bear. It's exhausting. Okay. They're getting some kind of karma for something in the past. Um, whether you were with this person or this is somebody new coming in, I feel like this person, whatever... You know, if you don't know them and they're coming in, this person has been through the ringer. And if they've done something wrong in the past, whether it was to somebody else or to you, 
they're coming to terms with that. It's like back to the drawing board to try to relearn how to do something the right way and coming in with this truth here. Okay, this is judgment and also reconciliation for those of you who resonate with this being someone from your past. This is like coming clean because the, the it's too much of a burden to keep holding on and carrying these secrets. It's too much of a burden. There's a wake up call for this person in their life, in love in general. So, you know, you could just be going about your day. I feel like a lot of you are just trying to heal and you're giving up on love or giving up on something from someone in particular. Um, and boom, somebody's coming in here ready for love and open and willing to to just drop everything from the past get rid of all that old baggage and and really do something the right way which is the ace of swords coming in with the truth this person wants to be having uh communication there will be communication from them um, where they tell you the truth Okay, whatever conflict, they want to overcome some conflicts here. Look at that, the tower. <laughs> A breaking of the ego. Breaking of the ego. That's that tower card. Unwanted change, ruin, disgrace, upheaval, maybe even violence of some sort. This person... They're, they're getting hit with the truth about things in their life. Okay? Could be any sign. Could be any sign. Whomever your person is, they're getting hit with the truth. They may have been up in their ego, up in their pride, prevented them from connecting in a lot of ways or trying to have something here with you. And I feel like, Virgo, you're just taking on that Queen of Swords and you're like, I'm just done. I need to get my healing on. I'm not bothering. Um... And this person's just like, I don't know if that like something happened. They've ha they're having some kind of an epiphany in their life, or something happened to them, or if this is someone from your past, you're walking away or you're leaving this connection for like in your mind for good. Just I don't even think you're putting a time on it. You're just trying to get out and get into a good recovery place so that you can be happy again. And I feel like. The side effect of that, because you're leaving that person or you're done, is that it's hitting them in the ego. So let's see, we've got Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, And that's it thus far. Now let's take a look. I'm going to see what other messages here. Let's take a look at this karma. What's going on with this reconciliation? This person, I just feel like here that they just keep finding reasons why they can't, or they kept finding reasons, or they, their whole life, they just kept finding, like they were too busy, they were too busy working, and they just kept finding reasons, whatever the reasons were, why they couldn't, do something uh, or they couldn't commit to something and I feel like they're coming out here or telling you the truth uh, for some of you there's a truth coming out about homosexuality um, that has prevented them from being in some type of connection with you like if you're opposite sex but this here it feels to me like they're coming out and opening up that they made themselves busy on purpose because they were too, they weren't sure about leading a relationship towards you or in a particular way or just in their life in general. But they're having to start all over again, the Three of Pentacles. This is my apprentice card. This is like relearning skills, learning how to do things all over again and this is like actually humbling themselves and maybe they're getting some counseling 
um, or they're getting some spiritual or uh, some type of lessons here being taught to them because that's always our school card. They're getting schooled, that's for sure. Let's take a look at the Ten of Wands, okay? All right, Four of Swords. There may have just been an element of being quite passive aggressive. And the reason I say that here is because this is aggressive here. This is like heavy duty working very hard. And then the four of swords is like not. That's withdrawal, rest, restfulness. That's passive aggressive behavior. And I feel like that might have had a lot to do with why there was any kind of struggles or problems in a relationship that these things... Either they're coming to tell you this, you know, or they're, they're getting like the truth is being revealed to themselves. And um, I feel like you're, you and your person or you and this person that you meet, whether you're, you know, this is somebody new coming in or someone from your past, I feel like with temperance here, this is all... Um, divine timing this whole situation you two coming into union at some point it was it, it, if you already met there was a reason for this was to break break open the ego yours and theirs and if you haven't met these are the lessons that this person maybe you're going through your own set Great, huge spiritual lessons, I feel here. Let's take a look at Seven of Pentacles. Okay, justice, yeah. Wow, this person is coming in to do the right thing. And, and it could even be legal marriage. This person isn't really even sure. They're thinking about it, like, how do I approach? What You know, if you've known this person from the past, they're thinking about actually, like, expressing how they feel and doing something about it, like, coming into union with you, finding a win-win solution, and they're processing. The truth definitely is coming out here, that they have romantic feelings for you and they want to try to make something work. And I feel like they will communicate with you that, you know, you threw them for a loop or they've been thrown for a loop in their life. Because the tower, this card feels like the crown chakra. And that's like the top of the head. And that represents the, like the quote, I know, I'm aware, connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. You know, that lightning bolt strikes out of nowhere. And it's like a total, like, what the heck? It's like a awareness. Let's get another card for the tower. <sighs> Virgo, Ace of Cups. There's new love beginning here. This is a blessing. Blessing for this person. I feel like the like, spirit's coming down and knocking their, their, you know, knocking their block off and making them wake up, you know. And this person is coming in to connect with you. Again, whether for some of you it is a past because of the judgment card here. For some of you it is a past person. For others, this can be somebody new who's just going, they're going through that dark night of the soul and they're waking up and they're like, what have I been missing? I have to go back and relearn everything and trying to heal. You're trying to heal. Maybe they are, for some of you, this person, maybe they got their um, ego um, destroyed by someone else. And now they're just trying to get away from that and heal and connect with you. Okay, they could have been in a, a marriage or some kind of relationship in the past that they never truly healed from. All right, so let's see what your angel answers are. I want you to think of a question. Uh, what kind of, you know, ask yourself, have a question in your mind, and we'll see what the angel guides have to say and what other messages they may be wanting you to know, Virgo. Okay, there's something better. All right, Virgo, 
if you are not wanting to go back to the past, that is a message that there's something or someone better out there for you. Okay. What else? If you do, I feel like this person is coming in a bit changed. Like they're hitting some kind of rock bottom. Like out of the blue. It's like, you know, God is coming down, striking this person, like shaking them up, rocking their world, destroying everything in the world. This, like, kind of falling apart for them to see, to start and have a new Ace of Cups, a new growth. Because after destruction, there's new growth. All right, don't forget question here look it's up to you you have the final call there will be a peaceful resolution whichever direction you take it will work out for you but the, at the end of the day you know whether somebody new is coming in or somebody from the past is coming back it's up to you to make your decision what you want to do how you want to handle things um, if you are ready because I feel like you're still kind of like in this it's you might still be in this position of like still transitioning into um or still going through the healing process you might still be going through this right now and you may not be ready but your person is you know i feel like you you might have had a tower moment not that long ago in your life that is spurring you on to make changes this person's getting it now Let's get a couple of charms for you, Virgo. Okay. Well, you've got a fish here. Okay, fishy, fishy. I feel like there's some dolphins here. Mermaids. Might have something to do. Maybe it's a Pisces. Pisces that you could be talking to. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? That was your signal for some of you. Their spirit saying is definitely a Pisces. But you have a heart here with a keyhole. Who's coming in? Who are you going to choose to put that key in your in the keyhole to unlock your heart? Because I feel like your heart is kind of protected right now. And you're moving away from the heart right now. And then you also have a triangle. There might have been, you know, a triangular affair, like a three party kind of thing. But this is also, for some of you, the Trinity, where there's harmony, union, expansion. For some of you, birth. There may be an actual birth coming up in regards, in the connection to somebody here, for some of you Virgos. But there's also an energy of enthusiasm about your healing that's coming forward okay i mean it's like you can't lose virgo because no matter what you're on a path of recovery and getting better that also could be here where there's something better you know your health mental physical and emotional some of you are like you know you're getting some spiritual help some mental health some of you are like treating your body better getting into a better physical shape nutrition um, some of you are you know praying more you're seeking more spiritual guidance i mean you're really like you're healing all three aspects of yourself the physical mental and spiritual and that's really really great and i i just feel like there's no key here just yet it's not fully time for your heart to be unlocked um but, you know, again, it's up to you. I feel like at the end of the day, you're just really seeking a peaceful resolution to whatever problems in your love life or with a past relationship. But I do feel like this person, whomever they are, is coming in to be ready for a committed uh, thing, possibly even marriage. Your advice here is to take action in your life. Do what's best for you, Virgo. All right, so that's going to be your reading, Virgo. I hope that you enjoy that. Please make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel here, and I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.